welcome back to Took's Craft Table. How's everyone doing today? Today I am going to start a new uh, start to finish <laughs> uh, journal with you and uh, I am going to make a hardcover journal and uh, what I have in mind is um, to have cover with fabric and then paint it and then have another um, top piece here and uh, I've done these with uh, the journal I called it chocolate um, the design team project for Susan Taylor Brown I, that's uh, I think I'm gonna uh, do the similar uh, journal as that so what I have here is the shipboard that was a uh, book cover so I just cut out and peel off the black <laughs> cover paper is plain black so I don't want it to um, to to show but I'm gonna paint it dark color anyway but it's better to peel it off because it's gonna be nice and smooth if you left um, another layer of paper it might have it might shown when you paint it so anyway um so i would um if you want to keep doing this is the perfect size journal i think and if you want to keep these as your regular journal it's good to make a, a template and here's my template i cut um for the cover uh, cover you don't need the template <laughs> eight um, so the eight and three quarter by five and three quarters so you cut two which is that and then for the spine you cut uh, two of these uh, you will see why we need to um, later on when we put together so you put uh, you cut exactly the same length but here it's up to you how you want to make your book um, thick. I think two and a half inches is pretty good size um, journal. And I I think I will make a big big journal because it's gonna be like a recipe um, keeping. And I I have planned six signatures because <laughs> I gonna have um, like a tab a divider like. I came up with six um, six header whatever you call it sections gonna be in the in the journal which is appetizer dessert grill salad soup and main so that's what I want to put in the tab and I think two and a half inches is pretty much what what um, would be good size so you need to cut this two of them and it doesn't have to be like a really thick thick cardboard this is like um the packaging cardboard that come i think it's one of the paper pack or something that the cardboard is so thin and you don't need it to be the thickness of this chipboard because like you know and um, the technique for me to get a teeny curved spine is to score score as as much as you can so it's so it will give you the curve this this curve so if you want a really curved uh, like a really curl <laughs> curve um, spine you could do what you could do you can spray with water dampen it and wrap it um, the Pringle uh, can I happen to have one here <laughs> So you could just um, spray it and then put it here and wrap um, plastic around um, around it and leave it overnight. When it dry, it will stay cur curved for you. But but um, for this journal, scoring is, is good. So I score really really tiny score line. Um, so it make it it will automatically curve it. But this one you don't have to score this the second one and um, for the template I 
I like to use it a lot so in in order to keep it make it uh, durable I add tape I just put the clear tape on it and uh, just to make it like bendable and 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 then I use the Japanese hole puncher to punch so that when I put the pen in um, it's so you have nice uh, space to dot to make template and uh, so with my measurement um, you just have to the reason I didn't give you the measurement between the spine because you want maybe you want to do three three signatures or but if you want to do six signatures like mine um, this is like um it's you need two <laughs> two um you measurement like inches and and centimeters so from here to here is one and a quarter inches same here one and a quarter inches and then between the space between is one centimeter between the signatures so that's give you six signatures and then um, uh, I want to do um, four hole pamphlet I never done this before so I don't know how, um, how it's gonna work <laughs> um, I might have to tie it down here so we'll see we'll see what it end up um, so I never done this before so I just want to experiment it so from and then uh, from here to here it's one inches and from here to here I think it's three inches and then another one in no that's not one inches why am I lying <laughs> oh it is one inches but um, and then from here to here is three and a quarter and then you know and one inches and make sure you you mark of course top and you know when you um, put down your template you know it and same as here so he, this one oh what the heck <laughs> my husband start working in the, on the house he actually take um, Thursday and Friday off to work on the house um, and uh, so this is um, what I call it um, it's called page punches so it will be a different size from this the, the spine template because um, this the height will be exactly the same as the paper we put in which is eight and a half because I like to print uh, the print my print my page is borderless if you're smaller than this you make sure you have the height exactly the same as your signatures and um, so this is going to be my signatures height um, is eight and a half and um, you know these the size it doesn't matter whatever you have you can make bigger you can make smaller but when you have these I, I just fold it in half and I just make sure I just line it up top and bottom equal and then I just mark it and then I just tape Put the clear tape down so that way it durable and I can keep using it. I have a, a bag of template that I keep all of these so I don't keep making this the template all the time and this is like pretty much standard um, oh, my heater go again um, so pretty much standard uh, journal that I would I would make so let's Start. so you got the material and then I have this cloth that you can use muslin you can use um, this is I think it was one of the tablecloth that like for outdoor or something so it's it's kind of like feed sack um, material but it's not um, feel like um, polyester more than than cotton so it, but it doesn't matter because we're gonna paint over it so let's see and um, I have done at, um, okay just in case you want to capture 
this measurement go ahead and I will put it away so and I am using Alin tacky glue for these because I think it's it dry very nice I mean I have another book um, uh, PVA book glue um, book binding glue but um, I didn't bring it up it's downstairs so but we will use Aline so I will glue these <laughs> and we we'll use the silicone spatula which I love oops maybe too much so you need quite a bit and you want to cover every inch um, everywhere because you don't want to bubble and you want to spread it um, evenly and sometimes it takes a while for the glue to seep through so if um, it will help adhere better if the glue seep through the the paper, the shipboard. So thank you so much everyone for your kind word for my ranting video. <laughs> I mean um, I have to get it out of my chest so it um, make me feel better that I, I said I put it out there right so that she knows that I'm not happy <laughs> um, yeah and uh, thank you for your really nice review on on your purchase and if you run into any problem with the download please um, contact me and um, we can figure it out and uh, I'll try my best I'm not the expert on <laughs> on those <laughs> But I enjoy creating. Um, so, oh, uh, another thing I uh, think it's a good good to have is uh, it's called spacer, and this is I cut it's about a quarter inch, so I want to put that here, so I know that um, how far I can put these so I am going to I should have um, I should have curved it this way would it curve it this way for me because this is glossy I don't know if the Aline would would stick let's try it so and I usually have an extra um, paper to to connect but this time I am going to just have the, the cloth to be the hinge because sometimes when I have the paper as the hinge um, it makes it stiffer to the for the cover to open and close so this time we'll see we'll see we'll see so this we just go against these and it's okay to work with the curved uh, spine make sure that um, you line up usually I have um, a thing here <laughs> to keep it me in line but but the curve will, will flatten but once it dry it will curve back again so it will go with the nature of the the score 
and then here put one here and we could do this and I will today we're just gonna do this cover and um, I will let it dry overnight and then I will paint it but I won't show you how I paint it because it's just simple right just paint with acrylic any color you paint you want the cover to be I was thinking about making the cracking but I'm not quite comfortable with that because I have done a few times but it never work out for me so I don't want to waste your time trying to figure out the crackle here and so if you want to go ahead and do the crackle um, technique yeah please do and this I got it from um, Amazon they're not they're pretty good um, you if you want to look for it it's uh, for epoxy racing tools or you can go um, uh, what do you call the uh, tools tool for glue spreader or something like that I have um, the one for cooking before I use and um, I still have it I, but I don't know where I put them I cannot find <laughs> I thought I'm pretty organized when I pack stuff, but ended up couldn't find so many things. Pack away something that I still need to use. <laughs> so, okay. Oops. My earbuds fall off. So you can get um, like a cheap book cover from a dollar store or something that because the shipboard is super expensive and now you can trim off your fabric to the size and this way it just if you know the, the measurement ahead of time you can trim that off to the size before you do this at two but um, I'm not very good with measurement if you follow my channel <laughs> you will know that I don't like to measure Yeah, my my daughter she she came when she packed her dorm and she came home with this giant binder like when I say giant so it's really huge that I cannot lift up with one hand she said you you have any use for this mom I said sure <laughs> So I, I've been using it for um, to for gluing or for doing some painting, something like that. It's it's her textbook, and you can't, can't believe when she said, "I pay so much for that." <laughs> I know you can't really donate it um, because it you have to update the, the you have to have the if something to do with um, education, right? You want the most recent information. She's trying to give it to the new student, but they don't want it. So 
it's good for me. It's good to, I think it need to really soak here. Whoops, too much. <laughs> guys celebrating I I filmed this on Thursday the 25th of November so if you are celebrating a Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving everyone yeah I have so many things to thanks for this year you know I just it's been a rough year for everyone, right? And we just so thankful that we're still here. I mean, Max and I will make so many plans for traveling, but we didn't regret anything because, you know, we thanks for, you know, that. This year's been good, everyone healthy. But this weekend though, I am hosting a birthday for two kids, two little kids. A four-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl. They're born not the same day, they're born a couple weeks apart, a week apart. One's on the 11th and one's on the 5th, I think. The 4th or the 5th. So that would be fun. Haven't seen them for a long time. One of them was the girl who always teased Darcy because I, she came and stayed with us for a little while when her dad wasn't well, so, so it was like, she's Darcy's buddy. I did not make this clip appear, just make it easier when we fall uh, for this part, you don't have to. Just make sure you get these down the rich riches. I think what you call the gap. I rather to have lots of glue than not enough glue when I make this kind of cover. And then make sure you glue really dry before you paint over your fabric. What's the point of having this patch? <laughs> this, right? You get your hand dirty anyway. You can use um, what you call the thicker fabric as well, but there's no need to because it might be harder to paint. But this is, I think this, I never um, worked with this fabric before. I My friend, she moved uh, to German, 
So she gave me a bunch of IKEA tablecloths. I think this is this is one of them. But it's supposed to be outdoor. And make sure you really get this corner to bend in like that. So today we're just gonna do this and hopefully it will dry overnight so I can um, I can paint tomorrow morning and then I do video in the afternoon. I, I like doing video in the afternoon because I don't know, I am a night out person so I sleep, I go to bed late and then I sleep in sometime 11 or <laughs> sometime noon. <laughs> and I know it's a weird schedule. So by the time I get everything settled and all that, my coffee, <laughs> I never make coffee, my husband always make coffee for me, he's the best. He let me sleep in, he take care of the dog, take care of himself. I, I never make him breakfast. He he's the one who make me breakfast. See this. So it's now we got um, these cover ready for the paint. So what you could do, you could uh, go around and I mean go with your. bone folder. Oh, the word just never pop in my head. <laughs> and then just try to get get this part to stick in the side of your book. You know what I mean if you have a thin fabric and then if you have a black um, cover underneath you will see it through right even though you paint if you want to paint like a lighter color you might see it but I am going to paint into dark blue I think when when you make um, kitchen or um, when you paint kitchen or anything to do with food yellow and blue blue make you happy and uh, yellow make you hungry and um, yeah so that's why most um, kitchen have yellow color or cookbook have yellow color and um, but uh, in the hospital you you paint it green because it brings nature to to patient and make them happy so that I just do that because I want um, the the spine uh, these part really stick to the chipboard. So I'm gonna put these to the side to dry, and let me use this part. Make sure I got that line up. Okay, and I will leave this 
to the side to dry and then we will prepare for the second piece for this. And this one just simply wrap with um, fabric, the same fabric we have here. So there's no, nothing, nothing special to do. And then tomorrow we will continue. If the paint and everything couldn't get it done, we will get the page, the signature put together. I am going to cover this part because it might see through these. So, so yeah, the packaging paper is pretty good come handy because um, you know to get cardstock or or chipboard quite expensive I know uh, some of you can can get it from store or like Ali she go to Costco and can get a big piece of it but um, for me it's not convenient to go we have to drive to another town to Costco, so I'm just not sure with the gas pricing right now. <laughs> uh, when I and I order enough to get enough packaging, <laughs> ah, my husband keep like nagging me about me, my shopping habit. This one we're just gonna fold down that and then I mean we could sew we could sew around it once it dry to fold it uh, like an in an angle just a teeny bit not too much and this is just pull down a little bit in an angle and then just so you get the idea this piece is gonna be inside to cover that spine and um, if we do the ankle downfall a little bit so that will give it uh, to hide behind the uh, end paper and uh, once it dry I'm gonna sew around these and that's it for the first step of cover making and tomorrow we will come and see what step can we continue depend on how dry this can go how quick this can be dry oops my tummy I'm not hungry but my tummy always growling I don't know why go this piece is done you know this is gonna be like the top piece from the you know to cover the open spine because um, if you make a hidden spine then you will sew the signature to these right and then you will it will turn into a book block but we are not um, we're gonna do exposed stitching so this won't be yeah so 
that is done for the day for the first step make sure I mean this is doesn't really matter if it doesn't attach because I am sewing but if you're not plan to sew make sure that you go in any place that has bubble like when it bubble up I mean the glue dry before your fabric or you didn't get enough glue there sorry bad habit I usually just grab whatever <laughs> near me but I use this because it's easy to clean off I soak in warm water and then everything come off nice and clean again it's same as my handy dandy tool here sorry <laughs> I use it so much yeah. there we go I'll see you hope this um, informative like you know some of the new beginner that just start joining maybe you can try something maybe you haven't learned about this uh, but this um, process so if you have any question or anything that is not clear today just leave me a comment or um, yeah so and we'll see you the next video bye